All right, uh, now to our uh, backstory segment. Uh, and a Brisbane homeowner has spiced things up in the bedroom, removing all privacy barriers from the ensuite to create an open ensuite. Mandalay House in the idyllic Whit Sundays can be rented for twenty thousand dollars a night. Uh, the Ely Beach European style mansion is popular among celebrities, with reports pop singer Taylor Swift stayed at the house, and the Reserve Bank has kept the official interest rates on hold, and the Australian share market records its worst trading day in 18 months this week. Now, I started uh, tonight's backstory by asking Career Mail real estate journalist Elizabeth Tilly about how that will affect the property market. They're designed to keep their powder dry. They cut and last two months. So they sort of want to keep a bit of firepower up their sleeve just in case things go pear-shaped. And they've certainly come out and said that they think the economy is slowing. So um, the RBA governor is a little bit worried about things at home, not happy with the unemployment rate at 5.2%. He wants to see it around 4.5% and thinks that that's when we'll see inflation return to more normal levels. Um, but we are looking at another cut, at least one more um, by the end of the year, probably around October. What do you think it means for property prices? Well, things are looking up for property prices. So the RBA have said that that's been partly because of some of the, the stimulus measures we've seen, the rate cuts, starting to see property prices stabilise after we did see quite a fall over the last year. So we're seeing um, Sydney and Melbourne back up and we're slowly starting to see the other capitals come through as well. So a survey by Finder actually found um, that experts are predicting we'll see Canberra see the highest growth over the next 12 months. Canberra. Yeah, 2.7 per cent. And that's followed by Hobart, 2.2 per cent, and then Brizzy at 1.8 per cent. So steady growth, but it's good to see that we are going to... And what about the auction up. clearance rates? How are they trading? They're picking up. They're picking up, which is great as well. So that's always a good sign of market confidence and how things are going. A real test will be spring selling season, though, which is just around the corner, because mm. listings are still quite low. So and That's generally a pretty good time to sell, isn't it? It is. Everyone wants to do it in spring, just that beautiful time of mm. year, you know, people are out and about, they can get their homes looking their best that time of year, the gardens are in bloom, that sort of thing. But there is a bit of concern that um, there haven't been many listings as yet, so buyers are still sitting on their hands a little bit, so we'll wait and see the next few weeks to see if that picks up. <clears throat> now, on a lighter note, an ensuite without walls here in Brisbane. Tell us about that. <laughs> this has gone viral on Twitter, Gluso, like more than 200,000 views. It made the Hindu Times yesterday, <laughs> I noticed. It's gone international. So a local builder in Wynnum has built this brand new house, six bedrooms, three bathrooms, but there's this photo of the master bedroom and the ensuite's right next to it, no walls, like not even glass. So literally there's the bath, the dunny, right there, a few metres from, from the bed. Very intimate? Very intimate. So it's sparked debate, obviously a lot of dinner party conversation. I'm not sure it's everyone's cup of tea. I mean, one, one bloke actually took to Twitter. I wanted to read this out because it was pretty funny. He said, Struth wouldn't want to see me after a kebab and a curry. Not a pretty sight. And he's got a point. Like, oh, I know, I don't know. Got a point. You've got some things that are just I mean, got to be yours, haven't they? Between a man and a wife. <laughs> So this thing went to auction recently, passed in at 1.9 million. So it hasn't been been bought yet, but he's hoping to get between two and two and a half million. Mm. So I'm not sure if this has worked in his favour or not. But if you love the house, just put a partition. You could put something on. up. Yeah, put something exactly. Up. Yeah. All right. Now tell me about your stay in a house that <laughs> that can be rented for 20 grand a night. I saw the piece on uh, the career mail last week, and I've got to say, I was so jealous, Liz Tilly. Yeah, I think you're not alone there. I did feel like a bit of a superstar. It was crazy. So Taylor Swift has been there. Taylor Swift apparently stayed there late last year. Well, I know that she did. It was all very hush-hush, but sources who close to me have said that's where it was um, because it's so private. You can only really get in there via helicopter, as you do. Paparazzi, nowhere to be seen. Amazing. Like, seven bedrooms, did nine like bathrooms. Did. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. It was just incredible. It had absolutely everything you could imagine. Very Lake Como, Mediterranean style, yeah. you know, right on the water. Um, and the owner is a Sydney businessman, but he actually knocked back an offer of $25 million for it recently. Right. And he only paid 14 for it. Right. But he says you couldn't get anything like this in no. Sydney for that money. I love it. Um, Whit Sundays is so beautiful, you know. What I was love your highlight? Was there here. something you really oh. like? Was it the theatre or the spa or the... 
Yeah. Um, the wine cellar was pretty cool. Wine it was huge and it had um, a dining table for 14 people. So. As you do. <laughs> and apparently someone's already booked it. So for September, a local gentleman yeah. has booked it for a few nights for his birthday. So people are willing to spend that money. 20. I don't know I don't know whether it's worth quite 20, 20. grand in my book. So I'd probably rather go overseas. If money's no option, though, Liz. But, yeah. And that's right. And you've got people coming into Airly now on super yachts worth 50 million bucks. And they're willing to drop that money. That's nothing to them. And that just shows how that region's growing.